Hey, all right, everybody. So it is, gosh, what is it? It's, um, it's August 29th, 2016 already. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just a little, little distracted at the moment. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a weird time here at the Missoula College uh, with the uh, Energy Tech program. Um, kind of struggling in a lot of ways to stay afloat, but um, we're working on it. Um, just wanted to drop you into the um, shell for Energy Y241. Um, again, this is fall 2016. Uh, my name is Brad Layton, and I am delivering this course, you know, more or less on behalf of Brian Kearns. Um, if you haven't heard of Brian Kearns yet, um, he's definitely somebody you're going to get to know this semester. He was one of the um, grandfathers, forefathers, visionaries, if you will who established the Energy Technology Program uh, about a decade ago. Uh, 2007 was the uh, first semester that we admitted students into the freshly minted Energy Technology uh, Program. Uh, Ashley Preston was the director for a little bit. Paul Williamson was another visionary. Um, you can probably see right here Paul's presentation. Um, and maybe we'll dig into that at some point. But what I've done for you so far, team, is to <coughs> update the syllabus. Um, we'll take a look at that in a little bit. Um, the, the, the shell is, is very well done. Uh, Brian Kearns uh, has done a great job organizing the shell. Brian is still um, on the, not on the faculty anymore. Um, he's, he's been serving as a faculty, as an adjunct. He currently still serves as a um, in the facilities department as sort of our permanent energy auditor, uh, energy efficiency expert, and it's really his job to save the university money on a daily and an annual basis by putting in renewable energy technologies. He uh, helped out with the Lomason uh, PV installation that uh, we were just funded for. Last year, he's also putting in a lot of smart meters. So if you haven't gotten to know Brian Kearns yet, absolutely, you need to. Uh, maybe we'll even talk him into doing a, I don't know, a potluck at his place. He's got a lot of neat alternative fuel vehicles. So maybe we'll do a, a field trip over to his place sometime this, this fall. Um, like I said, the course is very well organized. Um, uh, topic one, topic two, uh, everything is, is quite predictable. The only thing I'm really going to add to the course are these little uh, YouTube lectures as, as we go along through the course, um, you know, going through the, the example problems and the solutions that Brian has, has put together. So I'm just going to leave his information sitting right here, and I'm not sure exactly. We'll have to ask him what he's doing uh, there. Sort of, uh, it, it could be that he's working on the, the compressor for the hydrogen fueling station that uh, we've got in storage at the moment, but um, anyway, hopefully I'll have a chance to, to uh, talk to him about that. Um, I'm just going to go through the syllabus. First week of class, that's what you do. I'm going to take the burden off of Tim Chester, who's going to do that. Uh, neat little article here for the clarity. Uh, take a click through that. I'm not going to spend class time on it. It's a three-credit course. We're going to have lectures over in HBO6. Uh, we'll do it twice a week for an hour. And then what we'll also be doing to supplement that uh, class lecture time, I, I also want to get you exposed to the hydrogen truck. I'd like to get that moving. We've got the hydrogen mining vehicle. I'd also like to have that up and running. And then the Biomax. We've got three separate uh, technologies that I'd like to expose you to this fall as part of the course. So in addition to these two hours per week we spend in lecture, together we're going to have uh, at least 15 hours uh, outside uh, the classroom so it'll give you a total of uh, 45 for the semester. Uh, I'll let you read through that. Uh, by now you've already taken these courses 175, 101, 102. Here's the textbook and um, this is old news and um, just go out and grab yourself a copy and we'll, we'll take it from there. Um, everything else, you know, fairly straightforward. Um, alternative fuels that we're going we're to visit primarily is going to be woody biomass and hydrogen. 
We will talk about the alternative fueled economy. I just had a neat uh, conversation on KVGO's Talkback. I think I've even got a link to that. Let's check it out. So if you if you um, get a chance, you should check out your department's um, uh, website. You can see right here where I gave a little uh, lecture. There's me and Bob Seiden Schwartz. I'm not sure why Bob's so looking so grumpy there. I might have just caught him on a, on a weird, uh, <laughs> I don't know, moment. But go, uh, you know, go find the news for the website. You can click in and listen to KVO's, KVGO's talk back. A lot of the questions that come up uh, revolve around money, you know, ener energy and money. We'll, we'll get into that as the, as the semester progresses. What else? Uh, I need to get back to the syllabus. Hello, hello. New page. Okay, here we go. Back in the syllabus. Um, I'll just let you read through that. Uh, we will do some field trips. Um, we might also get over to the um, wastewater treatment plant. Yeah, or we'll go to Brian Kern's house, or we'll do the hydrogen, or we'll go to Biomax, or all of the above. It'll it'll be it'll be a good time. We'll, we'll feel that out as we go. Uh, advantages and disadvantages. Most of these are thermal uh, facilities, th thermal fuels. Um, yeah. Okay. Good night. Perfect. Perfect. And I, I really do, um, I really do want you to pay attention to this. I don't, I have not done this with most of my other courses, but it's really important that you just stay on pace. Uh, the, 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 I just finished updating the schedule. It's at the bottom of the syllabus, and just, just, just stay on top of it. You know, it, it's not, it's not super fast paced. It's just, but just be sure you're, you're getting into uh, the forums, doing the homework, and completing the exam each week, and you'll be fine. You will be fine. Okay, so definitions. I'm gonna have um, I'm gonna have Tim go over that a little bit with you. Uh, we might have Brian come and, and dig into a little bit, depending on his schedule. Um, and these are just kind of week week by week. What each one of these uh, which what, what each one of these is about. Like I said earlier, a lot of these are they're hydrocarbons. Uh, every one of these we're looking at is some kind of hydrocarbon. Even there's um, hydro without the carbon, but hydrogen. A little bit on electric vehicles, which is not a fuel specifically. Fuel cell vehicles are, hydro ve hydrogen hybrid vehicles are, um, evolution of biofuels, algae, and then, wow, check that out, compressed air. So it's really a comprehensive course on um, well, alternative fuels, making... Uh, typically making things uh, motive fuel, so we're talking about how, uh, how vehicles move in general. But you could also just make electricity, and that's why the EV is in there, and you could even think of a stationary plant for making electricity. Okay, um, I'll let you read through that. I'm not going to bore you by reading it here online. Here are the, uh, the way the grades are broken down. And we will have some problems. Tim's going to work through a couple problems with you. By now, you've, uh, you're, you're good at that with the 101 and the 102 uh, coursework. Again, here, don't be late on your assignments. 13 quizzes, 10 points each. Discussion posting, so just get those in. Uh, field trip and class paper, knock that out. There are the homework problems. And then the final exam. So we won't have a final exam. Just knock it out for the whole uh, semester, and you'll be fine. You will be fine. Okay. And here's the schedule. So uh, Monday's date, 8:29. Looking at it right here on the screen. Uh, Tim's going to be with you the next couple days. Uh, just get something in on the forum by uh, by Wednesday. Homework's due Friday, and then your uh, exam is due Sunday. Pretty simple. Walking along. Okay, well, I will be back uh, Thursday, week two, to pick it up where Tim left off. And uh, hey, I'm looking forward to a great semester. So uh, see y'all soon.